Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's episode, I want to go over the uh, one of my favorite uh, features in the new Final Cut Pro update uh, 10.6, and that is the uh, the tracker. Uh, I use this a lot. Uh, I used to do this in um, I used to do this in, in Adobe After Effects, uh, both Final Cut Pro and it's. Um, you know, you do need to be on at least 10.6, uh, but they did uh, add that new feature. Uh, and I would just want to go over some of the ways that I use it uh, when I'm, you know, doing some of my editing. First uh, example that I'm going to show you is that you can use it to track uh, text. Uh, for example, right here I got this shot, you know, just a couple in a bike, uh, you know, stroll down the beach uh, so what I'm gonna go ahead as is I'm gonna go right here under the uh, I'm gonna click on the the shot I'm gonna go over here down in the inspector and you can see right here that now we got the tracker and I'm gonna go ahead and add a tracker I'm gonna go ahead and uh, you know you can click on it you can make it whatever size you need I'm gonna I'm gonna track this little the center of this wheel right here and I'm gonna go ahead if you click on this little white dot you can uh, round out the edges if you need to uh, so right there I'm gonna go ahead and click analyze and it's gonna go ahead and analyze the shot um, you know to get a nice smooth tracker uh, that's almost done okay so that's done and then what I like to do is I like to come over here to the uh, you know to the tracker and actually name it in this case I'm just gonna call it bike it just makes it easier you know when you're doing that and then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna come over here and just drop a simple text just one of the built-in text and final cut uh, I'm gonna click on it um, when I go ahead and change some of the parameters, I'm gonna not make it 3D just to make it easier on the computer. And uh, I'm just gonna pick a color that sort of pops. I'll, I'll go with that. And uh, I'm gonna call this memories. And I'm gonna position the text sort of in line with the the wheels right in front of them then I'm gonna come over here and click on transform and then I'm gonna go ahead and right here if I click on tracker it's just gonna track the text I don't want to do that I just want to apply that tracker that I did on the on the shot of the couple I want to apply that tracker to this text so if you see right here I named it bike so I'm gonna click on it. You can see that it stays right in front of them. It tracks it really nice and it makes for a really, uh, you know, nice effect. Another way that you can use the tracker is to censor or blur out, uh, you know, a person's face or, or an object. Uh, in this case right here, you know, I got these girls by the pool so let's say I want to go ahead and blur out her face. I'm going to go ahead and drop the uh, the sensor uh, effect. You know, as you can see, Final Cut does a pretty good job identifying the face. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just uh, shape that a little bit more. And then I'm going to go ahead and, and um, I'm going to go ahead and analyze that. I'm, and Final Cut is going to go ahead and analyze the face as you can see it went ahead it did a pretty good job blurring out her face you know I could I could make some changes if I need to I can unlink the mask and let's say I wanna just reduce the size of it a little bit you know so right there you can see 
that he did a pretty good job. You know. So that's another way that I like to use the tracker. You know, it's a simple way, you know. You used to have to do this keyframe by keyframe, but I mean this right here, it makes it, uh, you know, it makes a big difference as far as I'm concerned. Another way that I like to use the tracker uh, in Final Cut Pro is to add a logo to a scene. So let's say I have this shot right here and I'm gonna go ahead and um, I'm gonna add a tracker. I'm gonna come down here in Inspector, add a tracker, make it about this big. I'm gonna track this little guitar right here. It's got some contrast. Let me go ahead and analyze this. Looks like it's doing a pretty good job holding on to it. Okay. Then I'm gonna come over here. I got my new style logo. I'm gonna drop that right here on top. And then I'm gonna just scale this down. About like that. And then just, I'm just gonna move it. I'm gonna move it right about here. Then I'm gonna go ahead. I forgot to name the track but it is this tracker right here. I'm gonna go ahead and see what that looks like. And as you can see, it did a pretty good job. Um, I could maybe place it kind of there in the middle. And it does a pretty good job, as you can see, keeping that logo, you know, there. Uh, I can also add a little noise to the logo uh, if I come down here and add a little noise to this logo just to make it blend a little better with the wall uh, and I'm just gonna do white noise and maybe just about that you know it just blends a little better so it's not so sharp in compa you know in comparison to the uh, to the wall. Uh, so as you can see, it keeps it right there. You know that's another good way to use, uh, you know, to use the uh, the tracker. So that's uh, you know again, there's many many ways to use it. I'm just showing you some of the the top ways that I use it. But there's so many ways that you can do this. Another way that you can use it is is for color grading. So let's say right here I got this shot. You know, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna track this woman right here. Again, I'm gonna come down in the inspector and I'm gonna add a tracker. I'm gonna just track her. I'm gonna just center her. And I'm going to come to the beginning, and I'm going to analyze that. Okay, that's done. Then what I can do, I'm going to click done. And then I'm just going to say woman. Okay, then I come over here, and I'm going to add a color wheels effect. And I'm going to add a mask. I'm gonna add a shape mask to her. Let's see right here. And then I'm gonna add that tracker to the shape mask. And as you can see right here, so then I, you know, I'm gonna come over here, let's say to the outside. Let's say I wanna just add a little tone to that. I'm gonna just add a little a little bit of a green, a bit, maybe a bluish little tint. And then I'm just gonna drop, just drop the uh, the highlights a little bit. And then I'm gonna go inside and just add a little bit of saturation in the shadows. Maybe I'll do the same and the highlights, you know, and then 
when I play it, you can see that she stands out. You know, I could even go even more drastic if I want to. And I can, um, you know, I can reset these. And I can uh, go, you know, on the outside of the mask and just drop saturation all together, which is another way you can use the tracker. If I want to isolate or highlight something, like, you know, let's say I want to highlight her, you know, and just keep her in that blue... You know, this could also be used, like, they, let's say you have a crowd of people, uh, you know, and you want to highlight, a, let's say, one person in the crowd. You can track that person, then use the color, uh, you know, then add the color wheels, and basically do the same thing that I'm doing here. You can desaturate everything around that person, you know what I mean, and keep that person, uh, you know, keep them, you know, with color. And basically, you can you can uh, create the same effect. Uh, so again, you know, this is just an ex this is an extreme uh, ex example. But again, I just wanted to give you, you know, I just wanted to give you some of the ways that I use the tracker in Final Cut Pro. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, please like and subscribe uh, so you can stay up to date. You know, on some of the other uh, you know tutorials that we got going on here on the channel. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, hope to see you in the next one. Take care.